A.K.A. Thorozano Brits to the streets. Right now, you're watching the hottest in the streets. Right here, this is 50.com. We live from One World Studios. Shout out my man, Boy Wonder. You know how we do? Got a special guest in the building. It's not even a guest. It's like family right here. You know what I mean? Hey. Introduce yourself. What up, young Ra? You already know what time it is, man. Rocking with this is 50. DJ Thoreau is popping. All right. Now, let everybody know where you're from. Hey, yo, Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Michigan. D! You Detroit! Know? So you know you're not gonna get off that easy, though. Right? I knew you was about to. Damn. <laughs> you know you're not getting off that easy, Look, man. Um, Even though it's your birthday, you know you're not getting off that easy, right? Yeah, let's you go. See, oh, I like that. You see, see, rubbing yeah, his beard, he's like, phone. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> damn, hold on. Uh, damn, what time was it? Ah, oh, damn. What time? <laughs> now listen, you know what it is, man. I know. Man. You know what I need to hear, right? A freestyle. It don't even got a freestyle. Just let's hear some bars. It could be. You could do a song. You do one. Nah, I really be putting stuff together, man. Whatever you want. Listen, you want to freestyle? Freestyle is freestyle. You know, we be messing up. All right, if you want to put it back, that's what you want to do. Do that. I'm just cool with some, some a light, some light. You, you're, you're from the D, bro. You're from the D. I so hope let me people, start like this. I hope people from Detroit to a different standard. You know what I mean? Let me start like let's this. Let's go. Then. Let's go. It's a look. Damn. Come on, you from look. Detroit, man. I ain't trying to hear that. Let's go. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear it. Look, I'm just a Detroit nigga with a New York state of mind. So, with that being said, mm, I, like I got that a lot on my mind. So, the rhymes are right. It's tougher than Dyke. Shout out to Nas One mic. Listen, <laughs> me and Thurl have been overseas counting euros. Facts. I stamp Detroit, but I represent all five girls. Mm. I'm just trying to be a gym class hero. I don't get it. Listen, I said I rock bands like gym class heroes. Matter of fact, I'm so sterile. They call me special. I'm like Dave Shapiro. Fight the case and beat it. Matter of fact, y'all need it. I'm Detroit, though, man. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Come like, on, man. I'm just trying to really go off the door. No, you're man. definitely from right Detroit, right man. You, yeah. You, you're definitely from Detroit, man. <laughs> Yo, one of the roughest places I played at was St. Andrews. Oh, shit. Yeah. Woo! Damn. Woo! <laughs> you saw, hey, listen, you saw 8 Mile? Yeah. That's what it was at. And they, they watered that down. And they, honest, yo, they that's that how down. it was at. When I went in there, they was like, ah, nigga, what the fuck you gonna do? Oh. I was like, nigga, I ain't scared of y'all niggas. Yeah. You know the fuck I am in here? Like, ah. no, I'm a, like, real quick for our bounce, I'm gonna tell you the weirdest thing. So like coming to New York, like everybody just be beeping. Right. Like beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah, they didn't hurt And I had to thought about it. I was like, dog, we was in Detroit, somebody would really got shot by now. Like <laughs> that beeping shit don't fly out there, bro. Man. But I love New York. <laughs> no, it's common because you know what? People you had the red light, as soon as the fucking light it's like a millisecond yeah. before the light is still blurry red to green. And soon as it turns, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, and like, my bro, like, he like out the here. light ain't even changing. It's like a pre hump. Uh, 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 uh. Before my the bro, light even changes. He change. out here, his girl from out here, so she, like, know everything. So we, like, even, like, she rolling down the window, arm out the window. She, like, yo, we getting over. We getting over. <laughs> I'm like, dog, this is how y'all do this every day. Like, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. do it, man. You get accustomed to it, man. It's a culture here, you know what yeah. I mean? And our culture it's, is you be, you getting right. shot. Like, yeah, well, it's not as much traffic. Shit. If it was that much traffic and it was, like, compounded like that, people would start beeping eventually. You know what I mean? Or if they shoot, shoot that many people, traffic's going to clear it up, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, so that might work out. <laughs> hey, I just saw a traffic problem. You, know you feel me? Look at that. You know what I mean? I'm patenting that right now. You know I like to play hip hop trivia up here, man. Name me oh, two famous rappers from Detroit. <laughs> man, that's not fair, man. I can name you a million. Okay, name me five then. I'm right, just, I mean, just... shit, let's go with you know we gotta go with Royce the Five Nine, my favorite. Okay. Big Sean, you know you gotta go with the T Grizzly. T Grizzly. You know R. I. P. Blade Icewood. Okay. Um, shit, Dage Low for me. I keep. Yo, what happened to her, yo? I mean, she. That's you know, crazy. You said that. She, she. I haven't heard nothing from her. What, she, she, she dropped a new project, man. She's still yeah. cold, man. You, you know, I did her first interview in New York City when she yeah, came here. Yeah, they, yeah. That's crazy, yo. Yeah. Wow, I haven't heard from her like in a minute. Man, she, she, cold, yeah, man. she's no, she, she's dope. Man. She's dope, definitely. So, speaking of um, I'm not hearing from anybody in a minute, but I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah. You know, so what you been up to? I see you got a new project. Let's speak on that. Bodie brought a story. Okay. Man, I just been on my, you know, in that one bag when it comes to that acting. Um, it's crazy. I released the Bodie Broadest story during quarantine. Right. And um, 
I actually reached out to Trey Chaney from The Wire, which is the whole concept behind the Bodie Brothers story. Yeah, I was going to ask you to break that title yeah. down for people so that don't know what that is. The concept really, you know, it comes from The Wire, which I grew up watching. Okay. Um, you know, my guy, he's, in, he's starring in the Trey Chaney. He played pool. Bodie Brothers. They was two uh, best friends in a show growing up, coming to age. Right. You know what I'm saying? Figuring out this street shit and trying to get out of it and, you know, stay on top and... It, it just really spoke to me. Like, you know, when you're growing up watching something like that and you're going through similar situations and experiences, right? It, it, it have a way of, you know, touching you. Right. And that's what happened. So that was the title of my album. And I actually ended up plugging in with both of them. Right. So, well, I see that you are a certified Detroit constituent. Because oh, you yeah. got Royce on the album. Oh, fuck like, yeah. Like, that's, that's incredible. You know what I mean? I mean, I got Royce. I got Sada Baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's somebody that's popping in the city, like, we all stick together. Right. So That's very rare, man. Yeah. A lot of people don't stick together. You know what I mean? So what's your favorite track off the album? Um, I think my favorite track probably is, like, either Mad At You or I Strive. I strive. Um, yeah. And I strive, what is that about? Is that self explanatory? Yeah, it's self explanatory. Okay. Just more my passion, my pain, my struggle, you know, behind the music, real life. Right. And just everything put into a song. You know, like a lot of artists, you know, people like to stunt and flex. You feel me? Right, right. And like, them my songs where it's no flexing, no stunting. It's just like, what you see is what you get. This is me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to lie to kick it, I ain't got to try to act like this and that. Right. I'm just gave it to you raw. Right. Okay. So is that out right now? Yeah. Well, actually, today was the pre okay. the pre album. You know, uh, it dropped the thirtieth. Okay. But today was the pre album. It already dropped. You know, we hit like one point five million streams. Okay. When it first dropped, so we just you know, rebooting it. Right. And really putting that that right. force behind and, it. And I want to say happy birthday today. Yeah, I appreciate your birthday. it. Yeah. Happy Harry birthday, season. brother. You know what I mean? Aries. Word. Definitely. How old are you, 19? Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> young. You're young. I feel old, though. Nah, man, you still like Muhammad Ali. You're young, you're pretty, you hit hard, you're you in the best me. shape of your life. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. stay like that forever, you know what I mean? So a lot of people don't know, man, and I even, like, nothing you do surprises me because I always believed in you. Yeah, and man. I just, I, I get happy when I see you making moves and power moves. Um, you're a hell of an actor, man. You, 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 you just did a movie, and I, I like to refer to him as Pinky. Yeah. Or A.K.A. Cuddy. A.K.A. Yeah. Chauncey from um, Minister Society. You know what <laughs> I mean? Dance, right. Like, you did yeah. a movie with him, man. That's crazy. Like, explain, yeah, how, explain that relationship. How did that come about? And let's talk about the movie. Really, Clifton Powell, you know, I grew up watching him, of course. You know, right. he's a legend in the game. If y'all like, don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Cuddy yeah. from Dead Presidents. Chauncey right? from we're talking about, Menace. We're talking about Chauncey from Minister Society. And we're talking about Pinky from Friday. Yeah. What's up, nigga? Shit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> who sent you, nigga? That came like Word. that was shout out to uh, Big Bro Trey right. Chaney. You know what I'm saying? He put that together because it's like he was the same way. Like, yo, you're a hell of an actor, a rapper. You got to be seen. Right. So I mean, he, the fact that he did that with you, that's incredible, man. Yeah, it was. You know what I'm saying? He brought me and my uh, me and my guy, my other brother Ty. He brought me and him out, and um, he brought us to Florida. Did a movie, Truthless, which is his debut director. And, um, so that's yeah, the name of the movie? That that was the first movie we did. Oh, so y'all did two that movies? That shit's on Amazon everything. I didn't so even know that. So this next film is making it, and that's with me, Cliff, Trey, all of us. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, that shit go crazy. And I got to keep it, I got to let y'all know, this is a dope guy. This man actually called me and asked me, did I want to be in a movie? And that's I was like, you know, nah, I'm cool. Do you yeah, do no, you? like, he really turned me down. I like, just... <laughs> uh, we had people on our Instagram just beating down the door, like, yo, can I get a part? You know, just give me a row. Nah, you know what it is? That was your moment. I, I felt like, yeah. man, like, a lot of people, man, they don't like, know how to get, let people have their moment. I but felt... you know what? Like, a lot of people, it's a million, billion stars in the sky, and they all shine together if you right. look at them. I, I appreciate that because a lot of people wouldn't do that. Like, if my mm. mother was in a movie, she wouldn't call me and ask me to get a movie. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, boy, you better watch me on TV and, and get the hell out of here. That's about it. You know what I mean? So that, that's the realest shit, yo. No, like, for real, that. man. It's flower time. I'll give you your flowers for that. You know? I appreciate it. Nobody's doing that. This man called me out of the blue and said, yo, you want to get in this movie? Hey, listen. I'm like, yo. I'm what like, I'm going to say now, you was crazy. on Versus Battle. <laughs> you, you still answered your phone the next day, so. Hey, that's, 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 that's what I do, man. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what I do, man. I, I stay grounded. You know what I mean? Thanks. You got to stay grounded. You gotta, you gotta stay grounded and you gotta support who support you. 
Facts. A lot of people don't get that. You know, you gotta. They 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 always worry about who's not supporting them mm-hmm. instead of focusing on who is. Supporting. You know what? I can't lie. I used to be like that. Like damn, yeah, you gotta stop that. I, this person, this person. Then I started saying like, yo, what's meant for you is meant for you. What God is doing for you, God is doing for you. And it's like people not supporting. And sometimes it really don't mean use it for motivation. Man. Yeah, but it really don't mean much no more. Like if they don't support, it's like you got twenty four hours in a day. I'm not gonna let two hours, you know, define my whole day and ruin it. Right. And at the same time, man, just people go through different stuff, man. You never know what somebody going through or why they not. So we might not be looking like, yo, you're not supporting, but really they might be going through hell over here and they don't know how. Like it's just so I just really, man, I just. Get in your bag, man, and just do you, man. Don't don't focus on no negativity or nothing. Just do you. Right. Okay. So now the movie, well, um, clip the, when is that? When can Making we, it, this when can we um, see that? Right now we're in negotiations with the studios. Okay. So, you know, we got, you know, like, I mean, shout out to Maverick. You know, right. shout out to BET Plus. That's all I'm going to say, man. You we know what, man? I, I, think, I, I think I changed my mind. Can I, can I get in the Man, come on. Let's <laughs> bring, bring the cameras back Honestly, out. You know so funny? You see him? <laughs> this is the movie right now. Oh, this is the movie. Because part of it is reality show. Oh, shit. I'm in a movie. There it's it is. The I got my... Hey, make sure y'all get the contracts from them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? We so, got a release form. Yeah, we got yeah, to <laughs> put that together. You know what I mean? So I definitely... I need, I need internet, man. Thanks. You know what I mean? For Dom get sold in the park, I need a partner. Thanks. You know what I mean? Need, I need all that. So um, let's talk about a video that's on a, on a project. What video have you released to promote this project? Um, I strive is I strive in the uh-oh joint. Uh, we decided to do like Sada. He's a fun guy dancing. Right. So we like let's do something different. Let's do a cartoon video. Right. So that's what we did for the single, which is uh oh. Right. I strive. We did a regular video. You know, kept it gully, as y'all would say. You know, we just right. kept that shit gutter. But right. yeah, it was dope, man. Can, can you share like maybe a a funny story or incident that may have happened on set when you were when you were doing the movie? Like you know what I mean? Like Pinky forgot where he was at, and <laughs> and he snapped into Pinky. He sure like, he was like, nigga, this shit, motherfucker. And we looking like, <laughs> then he was like, oh, shit, hold on. Then we like, yo, but that shit was, like, crazy. I'm going to tell you a funny story about him. I actually met him at a club, like, man, this had to be, like, it was right after Minnesota Society came out. Uh-huh. So what? it was a long time ago. And he came in the club, and the first thing he said when we, when we showed him, he said, how you doing? He was like, man, fuck him, fuck him. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you, dog. That's the first thing. He was <laughs> He went right into character. Fuck that nigga King. Fuck that. Bro, like he, that was his introduction to us. He's like. a goat. Like right to to even like I heard rappers and or more so R and B artists musicians say like yo I remember every key I remember every pitch that I've sung every octave. He remembers every expression every everything, and it's just like it's amazing when when I did it. I'm like he threw me off. I'm like hold on. I'm like okay yeah yeah no making it bro like right but right shout out to Cliff man. Or OG. So, right. So moving forward, man, what else can we expect you? I see you have a, a clothing line that's uh, supporting you. Yeah, it actually dropped today okay. for the pre-orders. So they only wanted to press up like a few hundred some units, you know, and that shit sold out today at 7 o'clock. So right. There should be a few more left, hopefully. You feel me? Right. We're going to redo it. So it's just, you know, keep grinding, man. Right. Okay. So what's some of the struggles that you may have um, had to overcome to get to this point? A lot of, um, a lot of people watching this. They see your success. A lot of people don't know what it takes to be successful or what you have to go through, right? What Man, are some of the obstacles you had to face? Stop looking at what success is to everyone else and look at what success means to you. Like, this person might deem it as me having a lot of money with some bad chicks. You know, me, it was just like, yo, let me have enough to take care of my bills and just keep going forward every year. Right. That's success to me. You feel me? Right. I mean, I, I can't. I'm from Detroit. I packed out a spot in Detroit. Came to New York. Packed out a spot in New York. Like that was success. That is success. You know what I'm saying? When you're around people that love you and that's pushing you, that's all success. And it's like, man, stop looking for the monetary gain. Right. And look at, you know, the the love. Like really, that's what that's what everything is about. Love. Right. Man. And it's like, I don't want to be rich and have everybody hate me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if I got five people that love me. And I got a few dollars in my pocket to buy something to eat. I'm good, bro. That's success. Right. All right. Well, so. well, well said, man. So, how can people get in contact with you? Follow you? Get your merch? Um, get in touch with you? All that good stuff. Man, go cap, dog. Like I, I put on my Instagram, no free game. Like, so don't be hitting me just for that dumb shit. Don't do that. Like, let's be professional still, because that is success. But um, just really young, 
underscore R A Y O U N G underscore R A. Music is on every platform: Spotify, Tidal, iTunes. You got the Billboard in Times yeah, Square. Billboard Congratulations! Times Square is with DJ Thoroughface on the other side. Hey, they look, like, hey, I, you know, I, what I'm saying, hey, that. I told him it was so funny. I told him I'm like, yo, I got a Billboard in Times Square. They're like, oh, that's what's up. I said, yo, you know Thorough? Yeah, he on there too. Oh shit! I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, it's all good, man. We, you know, that's everybody move like Thorough. Oh, when he sick. up here, he like, yo, Rock, come here. You feel me? And that's just like I say, that's success. That's love when. People was reaching back to each other yeah, you have and to, helping man. each you other have out, to. pulling back up, and that's like for some reason in this industry, everybody think it's like a crab in a barrel, but it's not. Right. Like it, it depends on your circle and who you around. Yeah, it depends on your circle because yeah. there are people like that. I mean, yeah, they shit. definitely are. But uh, it's I like can name everywhere. a few. Should I name them one? Day? No, I ain't gonna do that. No, I'll I'll do do it. Do it. <laughs> I will though. But, yeah, it's too long. Yeah, her? Facts, facts. Yeah, that's right. We're having a filming the camera. Yeah. We'll be here for like three hours. Facts. I mean, my city like that too. Everybody feel like they gotta win. First, or they, you know, it ain't gonna happen. I think everybody can coexist. I don't know yeah. why people think everybody can coexist. Yeah, I mean, I always believe that. You know what I mean? So I know that it's enough money and for everybody. You know what yeah. I mean? It's a multi-billion-dollar industry. Thanks. You know what I mean? So, you know, so um, before we get out of here, man, is there anything else you want to cover, share, chop it up about that we didn't speak on? Man, no, just know yourself, man. Be confident in what you're doing. And no matter, you know, what it seemed like, just keep knocking at that door, man. Somebody going to open it or you're going to crack that motherfucker open. And like I say, to be successful is to be, is to know yourself and be satisfied with what you got right. going on. All right. So, man, just keep doing you, dog. Stay in your lane. All right. So, listen, man. We're going to get up out of here, man. Let them know the name. Man, Sean Rob, Bodie brought a story available everywhere. Exactly. It's DJ Thoreau. This is 50.com. And like always, when you see us, one knee us. That means pay respect. Right. Yeah. Ten minutes, twenty minutes, thirty minutes. I'm on something. Ten minutes, twenty minutes, thirty.